The daughter of, former, of a former Russian double agent poisoned in England says she's growing stronger every day. British police released a statement yesterday from Sergei Skripal's daughter, Yulia. It's her first public comments since she and her father were sickened by a nerve agent. Russia denies any involvement in the attack last month. Charlie Daggett recently traveled to Moscow. He shows us the Kremlin's efforts to discredit allegations that it was responsible. Russian state television appeared to have pulled off a coup, the first phone call allegedly between Yulia Skripal and her cousin Victoria. Everything is fine and fixable, she's heard saying, and as for her father Sergei's health, nobody has any problems that can't be put right. Even Russian TV said the audio couldn't be verified. It's just the latest episode in a month-long campaign of alternate reality by Russian state media ever since Britain accused the Kremlin of directing an attack on the Russian spy and his daughter using the Russian-made Novichok nerve agent. A popular TV host said blaming Russia is a bit like saying if someone's hit in the head with an iPad, America is to blame because the iPad is a U.S. invention. Which is absurd. Which is totally absurd, yes. Which is, but absurdity is part of this, uh, of this show. Like Mikhail Nicola Fishman Jordan is the is former editor of the Moscow of Times. The Kremlin is managing, uh, managing every uh, message it sends through federal television. This is how, basically, Russian nation gets its uh, political agenda. And it is a message that appears to be getting through. Do you believe the British or the Russians? Of Russian course government? not. You don't? Of course not. I can say that I'm a patriot of my country. So I think it's uh, just uh, like uh, anti-Russian strategy because... Uh, it's Anti-Russian strategy? Yes. They're not alone. Yes, because... While not everybody we recently spoke to in Moscow fully buys their own country's story, nobody believes Britain's version of events. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, London.